what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this is going to be the a review for a nightmare on elm street and nightmare on elm street came out on in 1984 i think this is like the 34th anniversary since the film came out so i think it was only fitting that i should squeeze in a review for this for this classic film before the year ends up um uh, and I do plan to do an entire series review in the future, but for right now, let's just talk about the original. Released in 1984, Nightmare on Elm Street was directed by Wes Craven, and it starred John Saxon, Ronay Blank Role Blankley, Heather Langenkamp, Amanda Wiss, uh, Johnny Depp, and of course, we have Robert England starring as Freddy Krueger. And we have like a small cameo from the uh, star of the Insidious series, Lynn Shea. This, ser this film, was groundbreaking for like a lot of reasons it was like so this is like something that came out after what michael myers had done and what john carpenter did with his film halloween in 1978 we're introduced to a dream demon of sorts named freddy krueger who is able to invade uh teenagers dreams on the street of elm street and he kills them he kills them all one by one he's in this film he's targeting a group of friends and as the film progresses we find out stuff involving Kruger's back backstory and who he was when he was alive and that ties into why he's killing these specific people or that leads the audience to believe this is why he's killing these specific group of people uh or at least that's one of the main characters our main girl is played by Heather Langenkamp she plays Nancy Thompson she's the one that comes to conclusion because she finds out in the film what happened with Kruger and what happened when he was alive and she decides that that's why he is now after her I'm not really going to get into spoilers in regards to that but I will say that in I'm not going to get into spoilers in regard to how he died I think everyone pretty much knows that uh Kruger himself as a when he was alive he was basically a child murderer in the in the neighborhood so of course they were he was dealt with in the manner that the inhabitants saw fit so once he died we find out somehow or another he was he was uh once he died somehow he became something even worse we find out how this happened as the series progressed i think we don't i think it would have been better if we didn't find this stuff out but once he died his soul since he was living as a pretty much a tortured soul when he was alive he was uh somehow able to continue living out his desires and that's killing children from beyond the grave now and he is a dream demon now and we find out how he got this got these powers as the series progressed but like i said before it's really not that big of a big of a story that really needs to be explained it's all everything should in my opinion be grounded in the lack of knowledge around the mythos of these certain characters like such as freddy krueger we do not need to know how he got his powers we can understand his backstory and what might have led to this but it's as to how he actually got this new form after death i don't think that was necessary to find out uh, this film is one of, i think this was johnny depp's first big breakout film he did a fine job in this movie with the little role that he had his character doesn't really add much to the film he's kind of just there he plays heather langenkamp's boyfriend he's the boyfriend of nancy in the film robert england gives a terrifying performance as freddy krueger his mannerisms are on point uh the one the one liners are amazing as the series progresses though they become a bit more quirky and the series takes a full-on comedic route and all the way leading up to the point with uh freddy's dead the final nightmare we'll get to that movie when we get to that movie on my channel uh but yeah in this movie it was well balanced the comedy as well as the terror and maintaining that consistent tone that yes he is he can be funny at times but this is still a terrifying presence that needs to be taken seriously i think the original film did it best uh heather langenkamp as a final girl i think she wasn't necessarily like the greatest but what she but what she did in the role and what she was given to work with i think she was very believable i do think her acting was a bit here and there the most i think the strongest point in the movie is robert england's portrayal as freddy krueger and then the whole entire concept of the fact that you can die in your sleep because that's really how everyone wants to die because i how i feel a nightmare on elm street takes such a the concept of nightmare on elm street because if you were to ask people they would say that they want to die in their sleep peacefully but when you have when you have a entity looming in the darkness like freddy krueger hanging over your head you now necessarily don't want to go to sleep and you definitely don't want to die in your sleep i like how a nightmare on elm street kind of adds that 
what if scenario. So you want to die in your sleep, but let's say, what if this person existed or what if this thing existed when you go to sleep and he was the one that actually can still got to control how you lived or how you died even once you're no longer awake and now you're asleep and you're still in danger so i like how many people would prefer dying in their sleep peacefully a nightmare on elm street adds adds a what if to that because now it's like well i want to die in my sleep peacefully but what if i come into this guy so i like that aspect of the film Wes Craven, I think he did an amazing job directing this movie. Uh, there's a lot of, like the way some of the camera, the cameras, the, so the way some of the scenes are shot. I think that elevates the overall uh, tone of the film. It makes it makes everything feel very intense. The imagery, as far as like the gore in the film, is there's not much gore, as I will say. There's a lot of just pointless blood. I think some of the blood in the movie was a bit much. Uh, some of the special effects haven't aged as good because again it came out in the early 80s the overall like makeup design of freddy krueger in this movie this is probably the best he's ever looked in the entire series i think freddy krueger and the whole makeup design that robert england was given in this film it was absolutely amazing the opening kill with tina that is gruesome to watch on screen uh this movie is just it's just a big it's just a classic i don't i have no words for this movie outside of just saying that it's amazing that such that this film being so old still has so much to enjoy so many years later upon re-watching it uh again the acting in it isn't all that great now compared to some of the stuff that comes out today some of the acting in this movie is is like subpar at best and like and like i said before heather langenkamp doesn't give like an oscar worthy performance or anything but she gives a believable she does a believable job in portraying Nancy Thompson in this movie, and she plays the perfect final girl. Robert England is amazing as Freddy Krueger. Uh, Johnny Depp, he did fine for what he was given. The other supporting characters in the group with them, Tina and Rod, I thought they were interesting. Uh, cinematography was great. Makeup design of Freddy, Freddy Krueger was amazing. The atmosphere in this movie was very serious, and it still was blended with the overall fact that uh freddy krueger does have a comedic side and i appreciated that that it still did not overtake from the fact that this is still a overall horror film whereas with the later nightmare on elm street films it seems that the comedic aspect takes over and the horror aspect is put at a second spot whereas with the original the horror is at front and the comedy is in second that was my review of a nightmare on elm street if i were to give it a, a rating on a scale of one to ten i definitely would give this movie a solid seven and a half out of ten seven and a half to eight i'm gonna say seven and a half for this video i think that this is a classic film i think that nothing can touch this movie as far as like if you were to try to remake it because they already did and that bombed if they were to ever try to remake it again i don't think that they necessarily could do it justice without wes craven may he rest in peace i think that this is one of the better films that came out in the era past michael myers past jason and that actually paved the way for the big three that we now have in the industry michael jason and freddie they were the big three of horror in those last two decades from the 1900s the 80s and the 90s but let me know what you guys think about a nightmare and elm street down in the comment section below if you enjoyed my review give this a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video also in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know what movies you would like me to review in the future with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.